we want to solve and graph each inequality and then express the solution using interval notation. But we should review one important concept. When solving an inequality, if we multiply or divide by a negative number, we must reverse the inequality symbol. Let's take a look at an example of why this is true. We know that negative four is less than positive four. But if we were to divide both sides of this inequality by a negative number, let's say negative two, and don't reverse the inequality, notice how we would have a positive two on the left, bring down the inequality symbol, and then a negative two on the right. Well, two is not less than negative two, this is not true. But if we reverse the inequality symbol, it will be true. If we rewrote this as two greater than negative two, notice how we reverse the inequality symbol from here to here, and now the result is true two is greater than negative two. So this is the reason why when solving inequality, if we multiply or divide by a negative, we must reverse the inequality symbol. Looking at our first example, we have five x is greater than negative twenty-five. And since five x means five times x, we'll have to divide both sides of this equation by positive five to solve for x. Now we're dividing by a positive, so we do not reverse the inequality. Five over five simplifies to one, so we have x is greater than negative twenty-five divided by five is negative five. Notice negative five is not in this interval because negative five is not greater than negative five. So when we go to the graph, we're gonna make an open point on negative five. Again, this indicates that negative five is not in this interval. And then for numbers greater than negative five, we make an arrow to the right. Now we also want to express this using interval notation. To do that, we want to remember that as we move further and further right on the number line, we would be approaching positive infinity. So to write this using interval notation, we'll use the negative five, and we'll also use the positive infinity. And to show it does not include negative five, we'll use a rounded parenthesis, and then for positive and negative infinity, we always use a rounded parenthesis as well. So now we have the solution as an inequality, a graph, and expressed using interval notation. Looking at our second example, we will have to apply this special rule for inequalities. We have negative four x is greater than or equal to negative twenty. And negative four x means negative four times x. So to solve for x, we'll have to divide by negative four. And since we're dividing by a negative, we must reverse the inequality symbol. So on the left, we have x. Notice how the inequality symbol is pointing toward the right. So when we reverse it, it's gonna point toward the left. So we have less than or equal to now. And then negative twenty divided by negative four is positive five. So our solution is x is less than or equal to positive five. Notice how positive five does satisfy this inequality and therefore is in the interval because five is equal to five. So we'll make a closed point on positive five. But now we'll have an arrow to the left for the numbers that are less than five. As we move further and further left, we would be approaching negative infinity. And we'll use this for interval notation. We'll have a negative infinity, a positive five, a rounded parenthesis here, and then because it includes positive five, we'll use a square bracket. The square bracket indicates that point is in the interval. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. We'll take a look at some more examples in the next video.